Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video in our mod tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create torpedoes and AA guns mode. So we'll continue by opening the project we created last episode. And we import the torpedo models and the AA gun models and we take the read and write enabled. We can just ignore that arrow, it's just a random arrow from Unity. After that, we drag the models into our thing and we move them to an appropriate position. If you have an offset rotation in the X axis, you need to follow the same procedure as the last episode. Here, you open the mode tool to create an empty mode object of the torpedo launcher and the AA gun. After that, we started to give it an ID and to fill in all the information. This folder with a number ID name is a backup folder which generated by the program. If you want to maintain your project as clean as possible, you could just delete it. Now we are going to drag the models to our empty mode object. You can see in the left side and right side they are both models but we need to drag the right side models with a wireframe. Here we can see the turret model of this torpedo launcher is its position is not right so let's find the corresponding turret model in the torpedo model and we click copy component and we paste the values in the transform. You can see its position is correct now, and we move the muzzle, which generated the torpedo models, to the right position. Remember the torpedo were generated along with the blue axis, which is the C axis in Unity. Here I'm going to give it a random ID followed by the turret ID. You just go to adjust the collider with the same procedure as our last episode. Always remember to make the sides and the center values of the collider to be as elegant as possible, which means you need to make it a whole number or a number with just one decimal. Alright, the collider part has been done. Let's just fill assign these values in the torpedo part. You know what? I'm just going to keep them as default. Now let's move to the AA gun mode. The models have not been assigned and we are going to assign the models. Just drag these models with a wireframe to the mesh filter component. You can see the position of the barrel is not right and we copy the values from the AA gun model. After that has been done, we adjust the muzzle position. Right, let's dive into the components. I will give it an ID. Also remember to change the object name. And I will give it a random name and a random description. Maybe I will leave it as a CIWS. So after that you are going to adjust the collider follow the standard procedure, make the numbers to be clean. So this rotate object failed means if you have your barriers rotating in your AA gun, you need to change the size to 1 and you just assign your barrels to the rotate object. You can adjust its rotating speed by setting the speed.
you see it will just rotate along with the z-axis. If you want your AA gun to intercept missiles, you need to make sure you tick this toggle. Alright, I think our AA gun has been done. And we just go delete the models. By the way, you need to always remember to save your thing. You can follow my procedure when you just click Ctrl plus S. Here I'm going to name this thing as weapon mode example. So you won't lose any of your progress if you save your thing. Here I'm going to change the version number a little bit. You go into select all the objects in the left panel and you click load all objects and you save the mode. Sorry, here I found I just forgot to add some nails for my new parts. This is a common mistake. Here I'm just going to copy paste these thumbnails from the turret. So just for demonstration. And we load all objects and we export the mode again to the desktop. Here I just go delete this backup folder directly. Just like the last episode, I'm going to drag this generated folder to our game's modes folder and we just open the game to test it. So you may know we have a mode manager window in the menu, but this mode manager window won't show any modes from local. Maybe that function will be introduced in the future, but here we just go into the dock and uh, we just drag into the bottom of the inventory to test whether our mode has been loaded in the game. And we go to the test thing to test if it functions right. You can see our torpedo has been stuck. This is a common bug caused by the rotation axis is not right in your models. We will fix that later. And here we are just going to skip the torpedo and we are going to test our AA gun. Here I'm just going to make the time faster and later we are going to check whether the AA gun started to attack the aircraft. Here we can see our AA gun works fine and we jump back to our project. So we're started to fix that by opening the models of the torpedo launcher. Here you can see there is an Y offset rotation in its turret, so we are going to press Ctrl plus A and apply the rotation. Then we are going to follow the same procedure as the last episode to make its rotation to be zero in Unity. You can see the rotation is not right and we just type zero to its rotation in Unity manually. Alright, it should work fine now. So after the adjustments, our muscles position also need to be adjusted. You could go to adjust the muscles position, but in here I'm just going to adjust the rotation of the turret so it will meet the position of the muzzle. I think we have fixed the bug and we just load all objects to test if the problem has been fixed. After the export has been done, we do the same process by just copy this mode folder to our modes folder located in the game folder and we just overwrite the last folder we have exported. 
Also, you need to make sure you drag a preview image into the mode folder. We just open the game to test it. Here I'm going to enter the test scene directly. You see the torpedo launcher works fine now. Okay, so this is all for this episode of mode tutorial and I will see you in the next episode.